If you want, it's Emily Fox. Today is the beginning of a new series where I'm going to be doing a bunch of reading vlogs of popular books that I've obviously never read. Because I feel like sometimes when I do a review, it's been like a month since I've read the book, so I don't have all the details and all the fun, juicy stuff I have to say. So I thought, you know what? Let's start this with this book. This is the first Throne of Glass book by Sarah J. Maas. I have read, full disclaimer, the first chapter back in the day, like a year and a half ago, uh, in a try a book try chapter book tag and I read a bunch of first chapter in popular YA books and uh, I was finishing one but then since then I have finished a couple more and I think it's one of the only ones I didn't finish so I thought you know what it's about time and I did have a ah, opinion of the first chapter of this one again full disclaimer uh, so I am starting with a a little bit of apprehension let's just say that but I am keeping an open mind I might completely change my mind I'm hoping I will obviously and maybe I'll be able to read the whole series. I believe it's now done in the seventh and last book is out. So it's time for me to start reading the series. I hate reading unfinished series. So basically I felt like the main character, female character, kind of felt a bit like I'm such a badass that I have no emotion, but at the same time I'm like not like other girls. But obviously it's a first chapter. I might be completely wrong. So I shall be rereading said first chapter and then continuing and I will hopefully fall in love with it. I also have little post-its to put in there. <laughs> I will include a close-up because I saw these online fell in love with them. It's not sponsored at all but I wanted to show them to you because they're little like faces like little fingers with faces and I thought it would make this whole thing even more fun so I would be able to actually go back when I do full review or anything and <laughs> have my full emotions every single moment and I thought it was really funny. Maybe it's a translation because it is a Korean product but they decided to call these finger it which I thought it was a little funny. So again, hopefully we'll make everything even more fun for me. I feel like this is such a hype series on booktube that it puts expectations so high that it's almost impossible to live up to the hype. But again, hopeful. Let's do this. Okay, so I finished reading the first chapter and I wanted to update you. I'm not going to do that for every chapter because I think there's like 50, so it's a little too much to do. But, uh, I wanted to update you since I now remembered what was my issue. I was saying how, you know, strong female character to the extreme. And I feel like it's just, it has such like the typical YA angst in it that it becomes such a stereotype. Like think that sentence like, oh, she let out a breath that she didn't know she was holding. You know how people are so sensitive to it because they're like, they've heard it so much and it's so annoying. Well, I feel the same with the stereotype type of that strong female character that could kill everyone in a heartbeat but she's tiny and like so small and pretty and it's exactly what it is with this one like you're told like I don't know page two that uh it was true that she had been attractive once beautiful even blah, blah, like and you're like okay whatever and like the fact that she's so much smarter than everyone already and like I get it, like she's supposed to be the best assassin and everything. So some of it is justified, it's just that I'm so sensitive to that throat that like I can't deal anymore already after one chapter. So yeah, I kind of already put my first little post-it. I decided that this one would be the one that means uh, rolling my eyes because that sentence was like, if she wanted to escape, she only had to do blah blah blah. The only thing all that uh, the intended disorientation had accomplished was to familiarize her with the building, idiots. And I'm like, yeah, you're so smart. I don't know why, it just makes me, well, I do know why, it just makes me roll my eyes. So, yeah, yeah. I will continue to read it and hopefully it gets better from that on. Obviously, the first chapter, it finishes on a little bit of a, ooh, you know, something happens. So, again, Still hopeful, but now remember what were my issues when I first read the first chapter. So I was trying to wait until I was done with the second chapter to talk about it, but like three pages, like three and a half pages in, I can't deal, I need to talk to you. I feel like this is giving me so many examples of the things I don't like, especially in YA books, I feel like they're more common in them. But there's like, oh, the, the guy was wearing like a, a hood to try and make himself more intimidating. And she's like, as if that sort of trick would work on her. And it's like, okay. And then she meets the prince and he's devastatingly handsome. And it's like, princes are not supposed to be handsome. They're sniveling, stupid, and impulsive creatures. This one, this, how unfair of him to be royal and beautiful. And you're like, oh, of course. 
And then literally like two sentences below, uh, she's in front of him and she's obviously, she's been uh, a captive, so she's dirty as hell. What a miserable state for a girl of former beauty. Which is like, oh, if she was ugly, being dirty was not, would not be miserable. Okay, okay. And then it continues. And it's like, literally, like it's the next sentence. At a passing glance, what might think her eyes blue or gray, blah, 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 blah. But up close though, these wearing youths were offset by the brilliant ring of gold around her pu- Oh my f- la, 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 la. This is why I say that I don't like romance in general, because they tend to say those things that I cannot stand more often. And again, it's like romance, why? Or like, why a romance, romance, why? And then adults tend to do it less, or like everything else, basically. Um, yeah. This is gonna annoy me for sure. Like, I'm using a bunch of things already, but... Oh, and by the way, uh, for anyone that is new to my channel, I have nothing against YA books. Uh, if you go back to my best of uh, this year and the past years, there's a bunch of them that were YA. It's just that those are problems that I see more often, and by problems, I mean more I get upset over these. You might not. It's just that it's such a stereotype, again. Ah, oh, I'm like at page, like at the beginning of page nine, I'm already just upset about this book. It's gonna be a long, long read. But yeah, um, I'm still hopeful that other than those things, it will be a good story that will make me, you know, look past that. But yeah, <laughs> I'll push, push through this. We can do this. Okay, so last update of day one. Uh, I'm just at chapter six, so really I didn't read that much today, but still, uh, Things got much better since uh, my last update. Although there was still like one really cringy bit, but you know, whatever. Um, things are picking up. I'm very happy about it. Uh, now that we have left all the bits of everyone is oh so hot and everyone wants everyone and I'm assuming there's gonna be some type of tension between her and the prince because that's how it is in those books. But uh, we're learning that she's most likely a fairy or half fairy but I'm assuming fairy and that she used to have magical powers so that's really good and I have a feeling she might be like the daughter of the king and blah blah like of the fairies I feel like that's kind of feelings I'm getting might not be true I was going to say don't tell me any spoilers but uh when I post this I'll have finished the whole book so unless it's spoilers for future books definitely don't give me any spoilers please uh, yeah, it's picking up. I'm very happy about it. But yeah, I, I had like that one more cringy place. Actually, the whole paragraph that I had mentioned was continuing was still cringy. And then it got like kind of bad with the whole like the prince looking at her a little too long and instead of being disgusted, she's kind of into it. And it's kind of like, it's like he's looking at her and she's like, yet the fact that it even bother to look when she was in such a filthy state, a slow smile spread across her face and just like, okay. But I was pretty much the only thing after that it's been perfectly okay and I'm happy we can move on like I said so uh yeah the book is actually like 400 ish pages and I'm page 33 so really I didn't make that many that much progress today but uh, I think we've <laughs> come across the worst and I'm excited now like I was I'll admit it I was uh, a little skeptical of this whole reading vlog thing but I'm happy to continue. I'll probably continue a little bit later tonight and then this week. I'll try to read it all in a week so I can have like fresh dots. And I, I know myself, if I put a book down, I'm not gonna pick it up. So we can do this. Okay, we're in the morning of day four. Uh, let's pretend I don't look insane. I'm doing my skincare and I needed to push my hair and let it dry. So I wanted to update you on the book because I obviously made some decent progress. I'm currently at like 270. So, um, the good news is that there's as many post-it in the first chapter than in the next, like, 200 pages. So things definitely picked up. Um, yeah, positive, start with that. Uh, I definitely think the plot started now that we, like, moved on from telling us how pretty and petite and how different she is. <laughs> Basically, all my pet peeves. I feel like the last clip was kind of negative, but, like, it was literally all my pet peeves all in one. But yeah, uh, the plot definitely picked up. Uh, magic, elves... Uh, you know, a mystery happening while she's trying to compete to become uh, the champ champion of the king. Uh, people getting murdered. So definitely picked up quite a bit. Um, I also wanted to mention the things that bother me because unfortunately they're still quite out there for me. There's not 
that many that are like example like good enough to really mention but I still feel like the main character is trying so hard to be not like other girls that just it, it annoys me so much um let me pick up those examples um there's this quote here she's like uh after that she's uh she'd sworn never to trust girls again especially girls with agendas and power of their own uh girls who would do anything to get what they wanted which literally describes her but you know whatever uh and then uh literally next page it, she uh kind of implies that well uh basically if you're not a headstrong girl uh, your wooden-headed ninnies uh, who can only open their mouth to give orders and gossip, which is like, again, this one is a little bit of a stretch, but not that much considering her attitude in general. One that really annoyed me because I feel like this is more common usually in fantasy books written by men, but it's great to have an example written by a woman so that way I can finally, you know, give especially like a specific book for that. Uh, ageism. I hate the whole let me read the quote first. <laughs> uh, his, mother, his mother was still beautiful, though her face was a bit wrinkled and cracked with powder and her auburn hair had a few silver streaks. I hate the whole trope that like women freaking expire by the age of 30, like a clockwork, you're done. I hate it. She's not still beautiful. She's probably beautiful, period. Like I hate this thing. Anyway, uh, that's definitely another annoyance for me. Um, what else was there? Yeah, and basically Selena basically giving uh, attitude to the women when they look at her and stuff. It just, she annoys me. Like, if she was someone I would know, I would just hate her. Like, I feel like most of us probably would, slash she would probably hate us, but like, I hate the whole attitude that like, she's so different, and what is the obsession with her eye color? Like, I understand they're probably bright since they're blue with that gold thing, whatever, but like, you're constantly told that which feels super white just saying uh like at one point she's pissed and it's like oh a red cheek or making your eyes pop and i'm like oh my god shut up um what else uh the, did i say the prince is a creep because the prince is definitely a creep like there's no way i would be like oh my god into it absolutely not uh yeah those are the things that annoy me but i'm definitely curious to see what's gonna happen uh, I'm curious to see what's gonna be that love triangle. I can't obviously know who, but I'm not feeling like he's that much into her. That may change. Because in the back it says, two men love her. The whole land fears her. Only she can save them all. Anyway, um, I'm still keeping an open mind. I feel like this is a good thing with YA books. I feel like if you are kind of slumpy-ish, which I feel like I've been on and off throughout the whole year, these are so easy to read. Like, you go through them very fast. Um level of enjoyment is all over the place. Some bits I'm really into it, some bits I'm clearly annoyed, but um, yeah, I will happily finish it. I have like 130 pages-ish left. I would be open to possibly reading book two, but at the end I'll make you vote. But yeah, um, let's keep going. Hopefully not too many um, posted. I haven't put one in like 70 pages, so it's improving, I guess. But seriously, she's so obnoxious. She's literally the image I will now think about when I think about those characters that are like, I'm so strong and so different and... Ah, la, la, you know? I'll keep going. I'll see you probably in another day or two. <laughs> okay, so I wanted to update you. We are at day five and I was editing the clips that I have so far and first off, I realized Day two is missing, aka I probably forgot to press record. So I need to go back on some of the stuff that I mentioned. Second of all, I feel like I was trying so hard to be hopeful and this is the moment I'm just admitting to myself and all of you that I don't like this. Um, like, don't get me wrong, the plot is okay. Like there's nothing like mind blowing or anything. It's very average, but I cannot stand the characters and like the forced romance is just ridiculous. I am currently at page 314. Uh, let me go back first with day two that mysteriously disappeared. Uh, I wanted to talk about basically chapter 11 <laughs> the whole time. Uh, you know how last clip I mentioned that there's a love triangle and I'm not feeling it like at all. Uh, in this one, uh, it's with uh, the captain of the guard, which I'm calling it Cole, even though it's probably not how you're supposed to pronounce it. I don't care anymore. Wake up. Not surprisingly, it was Cole. She shimmied beneath the blankets, pulling them over her head, but he grabbed the covers and threw them to the floor. Her night nightgown was wrapped around her ties. 
okay? I guess that's, that's supposed to start the attraction here. It's cold, she moaned, holding her knees to her body. She didn't care that she only had a few months to beat the other champions. She needed sleep. It would have been nice if the crown prince had considered springing her from Endovir earlier so she would have some time to regain her strength and blah blah. How inconvenient for the prince not to think about the feelings and the sleep schedule of the evil, evil assassin that she is. Whatever. Let's keep going. Get up, blah blah blah. Uh, now you're wasting my time. If he noticed how much skin she was showing, he didn't react. Like, it's little things like that, just to shove in her face once again how attractive she is, slash, I guess it's to make us believe that she would be into her, but honestly, he's... Like, until, like, he's basically having this dialogue in his own head that he's into her, they have zero chemistry. I am so not feeling it. Honestly, it's just, like, literally offensive at this point. No, I'm not feeling it at all. So it just, like, goes like that. And now let's go back to where I'm at now. Actually, let me just go say one more thing because I did mention she was rude to other women and I wanted to give the quote because I wanted to just like shove in all your faces to how annoying she is. Basically, as she's walking towards the library, she's smiling to the boys or men, whatever, and smirked at the court women who eyed her pink and white gown. She couldn't blame them, the dress was spectacular, and, she's, and she was spectacular in it. What a fucking bitch. Just gonna say it. Um, she, at 17, just spent one year being a slave in a mine, and she's still this much of a bitch. Like, why are you smirking at women? Like, why? Like, they're not even saying that they're, like, staring at her badly. Like, she's just a complete asshole. Anyway, uh... Again, that's, that's why I can't stand her. Uh, I also wanted to mention uh, with the same thing with the relationship with Cole, who's probably not pronounced Cole. Um, again, he's the captain of the guard. <laughs> She's trying to like flirt with him during the ball that's been going on. And she's not even supposed to be there. So he's just staring at her like, the heck are you doing here? But she's smiling and flirting and inviting him to dance and why did Cole never joke with her as Dorian did, Dorian being the prince, which I don't know why the captain of the guard is not flirting with everyone like the prince, including you. Perhaps he truly didn't find her attractive. The possibility of it stung more than she would have liked to admit. Or she would have liked whatever. Why do you even care? Like, I don't know. Like, I again, it's it doesn't feel like, you know how some romance will feel genuine, like you can see it growing and growing? These things just come out of nowhere every time and I'm like, I guess they're supposed to be into each other, but she has no redeeming quality. She's pretty and she hasn't died yet from the competition. Like, I'm not feeling any chemistry, just saying. And then, um, what else would, oh yeah. Plus she's supposed to be like this badass assassin again at the age of 16. Um... <laughs> I don't think she's that great, just gonna say, because like people pop out of nowhere, she doesn't hear them come into the room or anything, and then like on the day of Yulmas, which I'm assuming is Christmas in that world, um, she wakes up and there's a bag of candy next to her, which one didn't wake up, okay, didn't hear anyone, and um, there's no note, no anything, and she just eats half the candies. People have been dying being murdered, like horribly, but you're gonna eat candies from a stranger. They could be poisoned. There's a competition going on. Like, I don't know, like, those little things just make me, like, feel like she's the worst assassin ever. And truly unbelievable as a character. And, I don't know, at this point I'm just kind of angry at the whole plot because I'm still waiting for things to just actually happen. There's less than a hundred pages left. And... <sighs> I was so hopeful. I was still trying to be positive, but, like, I can't be, like, you can't expect me to like this character. Like, the plot is fine. Again, not mind-blowing, but it's perfectly average. But the characters are just so freaking ridiculous. Like, I cannot stand the girl. Like, I want to, like... You know? I was hoping that it would be, like, character growth. When I was being, beginning the book, I thought there would be some, you know, throughout the book, she would become less and less annoying. Until I realized, dude, she spent one year being a slave in the mines. 
and all she cares about is how pretty she is. Doesn't make sense. It, it just doesn't make sense. Um, again, <laughs> I will finish the book. Um, I'm assuming maybe in future books she might become less annoying. Maybe the romance will make more sense. But so far, I'm just... I don't get it. I, I just don't get it. So yeah, uh, this was day five. I'm probably gonna have it done tomorrow and we'll have my final thoughts, but come on, who's into Selena? Like, ha I just finished the book. Uh, so we are day five, clearly same day, just later, much later. And uh, I wanted to give you my final update. I don't have much to say in form of like even plot or even post it. There's only one I want to talk about, but like, <laughs> I just realized I have a pimple killer. Let's pretend I don't have a white dot. Uh, the ending was fine with me. I do have to say that I can see how the romance will get very heavy in book number two, like the love triangle. I still don't understand what Cho, Cho? I, I'll keep calling him Cole. Uh, how and why he's into her. Even the prince, it doesn't make that much sense, but um, I feel like the characters are kind of like, I don't want to say stupid, but stupid. Um, like certain things are just so obviously wrong, but it just goes way past their head. For instance, uh, the king left for a while throughout the book and he comes back alone. Like he went away with a freaking army and comes back alone. And then it's just funny because it literally says, so basically Cole is saying, thinking, um, but the sudden disappearance then returning without a single soul. There was something brewing. And I'm like, no shit, Sherlock. And uh, he also thinks S Selena somehow knew it too. Again, no shit, Sherlock. Like, he left alone, he left with an army, comes back alone, and it's like, ooh, I feel like there might be something there. No shit. Um, so yeah, that was the only, like, that was the moment that really rolled my eye the most for the ending. But since there are seven books, I feel like we kind of had a feeling uh, that uh, Selena would survive. Um, but yeah, she's now the assassin. Nope. <laughs> the uh, king's champion. I still feel like we're going to learn that Selena is, like, the daughter of the king of the elves or something like that. I feel like that's, like, we've been told twice now that she used to have magical powers and stuff and both her parents are dead. And then there's been so many people dying from that place so I will have to figure out in book two or something else more so now you get to vote am I continuing this series yes or no you tell me I shall obey and do it <laughs> like I basically I don't mind continuing so it definitely depends on if you feel like that's something that you would like to watch some people I know find it entertaining when I don't like books some might prefer me reading something else so you can also let me know which other popular YA books you would like me to read and uh, review throughout a reading vlog. When I do one about adult books, you will be able to vote for adult books. So I thought I would just, you know, do half half like this. So you get to vote. Do I continue this? Yes? No? And what else would you like me to read that I haven't read yet? Let me know. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it, find found it entertaining, maybe. <laughs> don't forget to subscribe because you definitely don't want to miss any of those future videos. Plus, I'm planning all my best worst books of the year very, very soon. And I will be putting on the screen other videos that I've done that I recommend you check out. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.